Alrighty, over here we have... stuff. Okay, it, it's broken, we're gonna need to fix it. And we're gonna go inside this room. Hey, 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 this goes here. Okay. I'm a little confused as to what I did wrong. Um, did I forget to do this? There we go, okay. <laughs> Sorry about this minor mistake, everybody. So this will give us access to this room. This room right over here. It belongs to... It belongs to the murderer, and I'm not going to give any spoilers. The murderer hangs out in this room. Apparently, the murderer loves knitting. Er, sewing, sewing. Hmm. Craziness. Cool. So now we have a sewing kit. Uh, we have a puzzle to get downstairs, and we're gonna need three keys to escape this room. So many animations in this video. Just, just watching the sewing and everything, um, uh, okay. We grab a shovel. And we're using it over here. Now if you've played the fourth game in the Haunted Hall series, you might recognize this location. They use this as a honeymoon vacation spot for Dr. Blackmore, uh, the weird mutant tentacle monster. Not sure why he would want a honeymoon here, this, this is kind of a, a rundown place, but hey! Alright, so now that the dove is happy, happy dove, we can pull this and go inside. Ah, ah, too many birds. Get rid of the birds. Okay, better. Now I can get this key. And I need something to open that up. And I need to use this here for a puzzle. One, two, three, four. The puzzle is to click on four keys in the proper order. Kind of difficult to figure out with, with, with nothing to go on, actually. And did I miss something? I missed this invisible letter. So that gives us the solution to the puzzle, and the solution is... Have all the things line up. I, uh, I, I, I think I could have solved that puzzle on my own, actually. Um, it does not seem like it's that complicated. Yeah, I totally would have solved that puzzle without a clue. Let's go! Now that I have the piston, I can put the piston here. And the generator bolt belt goes here. We're gonna build a car jack, but first we need to go through this area. That works as a car jack piece. And this works... Oh, this does not work. This is a killer puzzle. So the goal of this puzzle is to move pieces into their proper holes. Now you can do this by moving these uh, walls. You can move the walls to change the, uh, the various puzzle outlines. And it is just ridiculously complicated. So I'm just going to skip the puzzle. Alright, that gives me the final jack part. Hooray, hooray, now I need a lever, I mean, I need a ladder there. That's a key. I think this one is a net, and the other one... Ooh, this is the ladder I need. Never mind. That's the ladder. That's the net. Ladder goes over here. Use 
the net to fish out the wardrobe handle. Right, so can you tell who this is? I mean, all this stuff belongs to the culprit. We've seen the culprit wear these things. The culprit dressed up like a beekeeper. The culprit dressed up in whatever that was. And the culprit is none other than... Hold on a second. Okay, okay. Let me do that introduction again. The culprit is none other than... Maria! Very dramatic that Marie is the culprit, although we haven't seen her since the first, like, two minutes of the game. So, yeah. Definitely a surprise culprit. Not sure why she hired me as a detective, because, you know, she hired the detective to catch the killer, and she's the killer. So did she want to get caught? We'll find out more about Maria and her motive when we play through the bonus chapter.